Wow, Square Enix will not let this game die. <laughs> they just keep releasing new content for it, but that's okay. I thoroughly enjoyed it, the original story, and I definitely played the first three episodes. So they just released another episode, Episode Arden, uh, this week. It is 10 bucks. I'm assuming it's probably going to be around the same length as the previous two, around two hours. So I'm excited. I'm excited to jump back into the world. So hopefully, guys are going to enjoy. As always, if you can enjoy, a thumbs up is greatly appreciated. Subscribe, all that good stuff. And let's get some backstory of the story's main villain. Spoilers! No. Play! Long ago, there lived a man, blessed by the gods, and revered by the people as their savior. His name was Arden Lucis Kylum. And he was to have served as the first king of Lucis. About you. Now, onto the weather. Shouldn't you be looking for your buddy? Today in the Crown City, we expect mild oh, and sunny no. weather with nothing but blue skies. I'm on special the assignment. The may experience some inclement weather, starting in the evening and continuing throughout the night. <laughs> that concludes today's news. Hey, look at that armor texture, though. So high fidelity. This is the Windows edition of the game. You don't need a save file, it's standalone DLC basically. So might as well play it on the highest frame rate. Sweet home at last. Welcome to the Founders Day Festival. In a moment, the parade will begin making its way through the city. King Regis is scheduled to participate in the festivities. Circling the Citadel alongside the statue of the Founder King, Somnus Lucid Kylo. So this is the city Somnus built. Built on the back of his own flesh and blood. Just look at them, free of care and unaware of the war beyond their wall. In order to ensure the safety of all festival goers, we ask that you please follow all staff instructions. Vehicular access will also be limited in some areas around the Citadel for the festival's duration. In addition, traffic will be stopped entirely during the parade. We thank you for your cooperation. What need is there to worry when brick and mortar blinds them to the suffering outside? Why venture out into the world when you feel so safe within? <sighs> what a life to live. This is the statue of the Founder King? I see the sculptor took quite a few liberties. and so salty. 
So what do you think, son? Not every day you get to see the king's personal bodyguards up close. They're so cool! I want to be a royal guard someday! And that must be the king's castle. We should. Okay. No, no, of course. Yeah. I want yes. absolutely. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Now, okay. let the fireworks begin! Okay. Right, let's go! Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Summons Ifrit out of nowhere. Music so epic. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I have forgotten how to play this game. I don't even know what the attack button is. Hopefully this is a tutorial. Arden. Oh, Arden. You can't expect me to believe that. <laughs> oh, but I do. You have my word. <laughs> well, in that case... <laughs> <sighs> You look exhausted, my love. Are you all right? <laughs> I am. Hmm. Ah. The gods bless me with a power and a purpose to cure people of what ails them. I must see their will be done. Your devotion shall not go unnoticed. The gods will doubtless be watching over you. Just as I shall be watching over you every step of the way. <laughs> it seems to me the cure for your exhaustion is comprised of two things, one of which is rest. Oh? And the other? <laughs> is me. <laughs> <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> <laughs> Just as the ancient texts told. Uh, who? Take him away. This 
game keeps jumping back and forth between timelines, it's kind of getting a little bit confusing. Don't uh, touch me. Status report. Everything is fine here. Roger that. We'll transport the subject to your location. And we'll have the medical team ready as planned. What's the situation over there? Nothing to report. We're just... Ninjas! When in doubt, it's always ninjas. See? Adagium sighted! Uh, Adagium? Get it back in the cell. No matter what. We can't let that thing off this island! Stop. Cease this. Cease this. At once! See?
Era. Somnus. Forgive me, brother. But the throne seats only one. Oh, Hera! Uh, gods, no! Yamara! <laughs> the hell is going on in this game? I'm so confused. <sighs> Arden Azunia, Chief Basithia would like to see you. <sighs> Might as well head out. just gonna play it cool right just chill oh wait we're not captured looks like we're in some sort of research facility uh, right now I dare say this outfit wasn't tailor-made yo dude what do you think this is the Ritz this isn't a place for bespoke items not the most enthralling view key items Have a seat. Gods above, we thank you for the bounty you have laid before us. Don't want your food getting cold, do you? Are you enjoying your stay? No. You've been asleep for years. Learning to appreciate the waking world will take time. Perhaps I can help enlighten you while we dine. This guy's voice is too deep for his character model. He seemed like he'd be more about a we more of a wiener voice. What is it you want from me, anyhow? What about me interests you so? You said it yourself, didn't you? You were chosen by the gods. And frankly, with powers like yours, I'd say you're nearly a god in your own right. We need those powers that you possess. With your strength on our side, we could finally put an end to the gruesome war with Lucis. You too must desire the fall of the kingdom that cast you into exile. <sighs> My desires are all in the past. The man who wronged you may have died long ago, but his descendants live on to this day. Surely you must bear them some feelings of ill will. My feelings are none of your concern. Come along. So we're back in the present now. So Noctis is running around with his fabulous hair, I'm assuming. This is kind of like a short prologue to the main game. This guy's trying to stir the pot. This is the fruit of my labor. A small portion of it, that is. I envy you. A human life is too short to truly understand all there is to know about the world. Go on, have a look. Uh. Explore? 
Don't mind if I do. Get that lore in, folks. Get the lore. At center, we see what I presume to be Lucian warriors and the kings of Fjord. I've learned a great deal about the first king of Lucis, but I never knew he was second in line. It seems to depict a legend in which the chosen king dispels the darkness. If that's true, does that mean Lucis intends to someday stand above all others? <laughs> Their trifling tales mean nothing in the face of our superior technology. Only we can restore balance to our world. At center, we see what I've learned. It seems to... If that's true... <laughs> At the top of the painting, we see the Oracle herself. The bloodline of the Oracle is one of the oldest in Eos, originating with Ero Mirus Flore. Only they possess the power to commune with the gods. This painting depicts the Oracle as some goddess of light herself. She'd doubtless prove a powerful ally if she could be persuaded. She looks like our waifu. On the sides of the frame, we see the Hexathion. Conspicuously absent is the traitorous god of fire who started the great war of old. Perhaps developing a deeper understanding of the demons will bring us closer to comprehending their divine counterparts. But what if I were to find a way to combine those two disparate elements? This game's all about like bloodlines and heritage. By my estimation, the grotesque creatures depicted here are likely demons. Could this mean these monsters will be harbingers of the apocalypse? If only we could find a way to harness their power for ourselves. The line of Lucis was chosen to eradicate evil from Eos. And with the Divine on their side, how could they fail? This is our world? It has been estimated that Eos came into existence some 4.5 billion years ago. Ancient myths tell tales of six protector gods who first alighted upon Eos in the ancient Solheim era. Fossils thought to be remains of the oldest members of the human race were discovered in the Pistala region. Some claim that humans discovered fire in the Sukarp region even before the dawn of the Solheim civilization. According to legend, the fire god Ifrit first bestowed his burning wisdom upon a man who later sat the throne of Solheim. Prometheus. The mechanized civilization of Solheim is presumed to have originated in the Disguy and Klang regions. Exactly when the civilization rose and fell, however, remains the subject of much investigation. The enormous crevasse separating the regions of Klain and Duskai is known as Telpar Crag. It is here that the War of the Astrals is said to have taken place. When Ifrit tried to reduce mankind to ash, the other gods fought back, and some claim this clash caused the collapse of Solheim. It is said that Ifrit, having lost the War of the Astrals, was interred atop the Rock of Ravito. After the war, the ice goddess Shiva allegedly sank into a deep slumber, nestled in the Gorvas Rift of Volup. To this day, no one knows what became of the Blade God, Bahamut. The Earth God Titan can be seen supporting the meteor at the heart of the Disk of Kothis in the sky. I definitely have pronounced all those gods wrong. Ifrit, Bahamut. I definitely call him Bahamut. <laughs> oh well. Pronunciations. Enunciate. Given the demon's aversion to light, they typically stick to the shadows until the sun fades and the night falls. Adagium, however, is different. Unlike his demon brethren, he can still function uninhibited in broad daylight. Of course, the ultraviolet rays harm him, much like they would any other demon. Yet his cells regenerate quickly enough to essentially negate the damage. Yeah. It stings, ah, like the light of the sun. Perhaps ah, I'd best cover up. Basically, the reverse Superman. Pretty much. What do we got in here? 
Demons were first officially recognized as a new species roughly 200 years ago. According to ancient texts, however, humans have suffered from a parasitic plague wrought by the demons for upward of two millennia. Demonification is caused by a mutant strain of Plasmodia that takes root in living creatures and changes their cellular structures. Infected creatures begin to disperse miasmal particles, the spread of which is known as the Star Scourge. This model is a replica made from plaster poured into a demon-shaped cavity discovered deep underground. Demons sublimate when their vital functions cease, so this particular specimen must have vaporized after the mud around it had already solidified. Scientists believe this subject burrowed into the Earth in order to shield itself from the light of the sun. This is the important one. Adagium. That is what the Lucians call the monster they imprisoned for 2,000 long years. His powers surpass those of any mortal, and his body is all but impervious to attack. It's no wonder the Founder King sealed him away on the Isle of Angel Guard. He undoubtedly feared this monster might challenge his reign. This is why Arden hates Noctis' bloodline so much, apparently. It seems fortune smiles upon me. Though the Lucians kept him locked away for 2,000 years, I've managed to secure Radagium for myself. The raging winds and stormy seas may have cast all others away, but the waves parted for me that day and led the way. While I've yet to conduct any official research, the potential he proved in combat was most promising. I estimate his powers easily surpass anything mankind has ever seen. Perhaps this streak of luck has just begun. <laughs> Fascinating, isn't it? I pored over the ancient texts and found scarcely a mention of you. I barely believed you existed till I saw you with my own eyes. With your help, my research is proceeding smoothly. You have my thanks. This must be how the gods feel looking down upon our world. Here we have a model of imperial territory. It includes our present lands as well as our future acquisitions. Feel free to have a look. Already looked. Keep walking. There's something you should see. Come with me. I found something most interesting on the Rock of Ravito. If my experiment on this specimen succeeds, it might provide the information you've been looking for. This way. Well, I have to say this is definitely, in terms of story, the most, most interesting episode that's come out so far. Is that... Ifrit the Infernian. <gasps> you subjugated a god and brought him here? He was sound asleep, just like the legend said he'd be, so we put him on ice. Do you think you could turn him into a demon? If you managed to demonify a deity, you could learn truths no mere mortal could ever dream of knowing. You'll access 2,000 years of his memories, and if you can control him, he'll be a weapon of supreme power. It's certainly an enticing offer, isn't it? Just think you could exact sweet revenge through divine retribution. How do you know what I want? I don't, but I know you have no other options. Well, shall we? Come see the fruits of my Magitech research. This way. The ancient civilization of Solheim, forefathers of our magic technology, once flourished on this land. Had they not incurred the wrath of the gods, they may have remained prosperous to this day. And you wish to restore them to greatness? To surpass them, which is why I need you to lend me your strength. But I'm certain magic technology and demons are the keys to unlocking the door to a new future.
Lucians? But how? Kunmi squad, Adagium sighted. Initiating Requesting engagement. backup from Nimbus squad. Shutting down communications until all clear. Ah, so you've come to kill me, have you? Or die trying. Where were these guys before? Idea what that royal rush is it's like our butt lost. Be away. Kingdom. 
And burn them all to the ground! <gasps> no! I was the one chosen to be king. Arden. Oh. to Somnus, you had been chosen to be king. Huh? 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 I never dreamt he would try to kill you. But he did. <laughs> Somnus fooled everyone, so he could usurp the throne. Everything that happened, it's all his fault. No. Listen to me. It's my fault. I'm the one who ruined your future. This was divine retribution for my sins. You've no sins to atone for. Gods! Answer me! Why have you burdened us with this fate? Error! Oh, no! Error! Please! In the name of the gods above, Fulfill your calling, Arden, and punish me for my sin! Era. Kill me! That's right, kill her. Put that monster out of its misery, just like I did. Like you saved that innocent man by turning him into a demon? Please, Arden. You must live. I can't. Not without you. <laughs> Come. Why not give the lady what she wants? No! I resist you! <laughs> It's a uh, terrible button mash. No! <laughs> 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 Once again, you failed to save her. No surprise. A monster can do not but destroy. <laughs> 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 Man, my brother's a dick. <laughs> I'll never forgive you, Somnus. This monster may not be able to destroy you, but I'll see to it that I destroy everything you built. Hear me, gods above. No longer shall I supplicate you for pardon. No longer shall I sojourn toward the light. Nay, the path I intend to tread is paved with blood and darkness. No longer shall I seek your guidance. 
This path is mine to tread alone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was freaky deaky, dude. Well, now we understand why he's always pissed off. The Empire's demonic experiments bore fruit before long, precipitating the production of a Magitek infantry. As recognition for his contribution to this research, Arden Azunia was inaugurated as Imperial Chancellor. Thanks to its newfound firepower, Niflheim managed to break the stalemate that shackled the nation for more than a hundred years, and, in turn, forced Lucis to scale back its magical barrier. The untimely passing of King Mors ushered in the era of a new monarch, and the young Regis Lucis Kylum succeeded the throne. Meanwhile, Arden began to spread the Star Scourge throughout the world, stealing people's memories and learning as much about the kingdom as he could. In time, those memories began to merge with his own, gradually transforming him into a wicked echo of his former self. And now, at long last, the time for his revenge has come. <laughs>